Hello everybody, my name is Lego Lee and welcome back to Lego Star Wars set review. Today I'm very excited to bring you my review for the Ultimate Collector Series A-Wing Starfighter Lego Star Wars 2020 May the 4th UCS set. This set here retails for 200 US dollars, has 1,673 pieces and can we just marvel at how absolutely gorgeous this box art is even though my package definitely got a little bit destroyed in the mail. This box just looks magnificent. Magnificent. I really hope Lego continues to make boxes that look this good and the back of the box has some additional details about the set as well. This set includes one very nice and thick instruction manual. The first few pages here have some kind of information about the design team of the vehicle. And then we get some additional information about the A-Wing Starfighter itself in the Star Wars universe. They have all of these written out in a few different languages. And all told, this manual has an impressive 283 pages of building. Bringing all 1,673 pieces of this set together, we completed the UCS A-Wing. And like most LEGO Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series sets, this A-Wing is just the A-Wing on top of a very nice and sturdy display stand. And of course, that display stand here is equipped with a nice little plaque that gives you all the statistics and details you need to know about this particular Starfighter. However, I really wish LEGO would just print these pieces. It's a gigantic sticker and a sticker of this size makes it very easy to get big air bubbles underneath which is quite annoying and kind of hurts the look of the display stand itself. And, and off to the side here of the display stand you can see the one minifigure included with this set, the A-Wing Pilot. They'll take a close look at here now. Here is the lone minifigure of the set, the A-Wing Pilot himself. And I think for all intents and purposes this A-Wing Pilot minifigure is pretty good. Good printing all around. I like the helmet mold. The face is definitely generic but but it's a good figure with great back printing, good double-sided face. I mean, seriously, this is a good minifigure. However, this is an Ultimate Collector Series LEGO Star Wars set, and usually when a set has that title, the minifigures tend to be more detailed, and this figure is just as good as a minifigure you would get in a typical $30 A-Wing set, for example. It's no better than those figures. I would have expected maybe dual-molded legs or some printed arm details or something, but none of that is present present here. It's just a very typical A-Wing pilot minifigure, so I think the lack of detail here definitely makes this figure a bit underwhelming in my opinion. While it still looks good, it definitely could have been way better. The stand itself here has a couple of different options to display the A-Wing. You can have it kind of sitting flat right here, which doesn't look super exciting, and I think clearly the better pose is just a very slight tilt, but this makes it a more action pose, and it looks very aerodynamic, and it's a really great display piece. And yeah, sure, the stand for this vehicle is great, but it's only as good as the design of the ship itself, and LEGO has absolutely killed it here with this A-Wing. I mean, seriously, just take a close look at some of the building techniques right here. This is insane, and I think the most insane thing is, I mean, it's one thing to have these great techniques on the top, they continue all the way on the bottom as well. The snot, the studs not on top building techniques in this set are off the charts. They are so, so good, and this thing looks great from pretty much all angles. The subtle yet very effective angle of these pieces right here make the front look absolutely beautiful. I love the little added detail with the Nexo Knight shield piece right there, however, right here, here and right there, those again are stickers. And I really think it would have been a lot better to have printed pieces with this set. Another small little flaw here is some of the gaps aren't perfect. They are very close to being perfect, but you can see right here and right here, those gaps don't look exactly right. And there's some parts throughout the set where just, you know, a little bit of exposure of pieces you wouldn't want to see occurs, which is not a huge deal. And honestly, the angles are so finely tuned, it's kind of to be expected, but but it does need to be pointed out. As we continue along the side here, just the angling and the position of all these pieces and the layers right here, it works so well and the design is really perfect. And right here, you actually have a strip of printed pieces, which I find very odd because pretty much everything else in this set is a sticker. More on stickers later on throughout this review. And then of course you have the guns of the vehicle right here. This design is pretty simple, it's nothing too spectacular, it just uses some pretty simple building techniques, but the gun looks really, really 
really cool and there's actually a decent play feature involved with this weapon. I actually had no idea this play feature existed with this set when I started building it at first, but it's actually one of the first things you build in the instruction manual simply by turning the gun right here. Both guns move 180 degrees at the same time. It's a simple but very effective gear mechanism inside the A-Wing and these guns look fantastic and it's a great action play feature for a set that doesn't really have any other action features. We'll save the cockpit of this ship for last. We can take a closer look at the engine area right here, which again just has some great designs. This is a big sticker right here, but I think it looks really good. And the transition from the brick built parts to the sticker details works really well. The fins here are nice. However, Kind of an odd building technique on Lego's part. The fins are positioned, you know, like you would think they would be from a Lego set. However, they're not really in place or anything. They kind of just freely can rotate right here. And I would have liked to have a stopper piece of some kind to know exactly where to stop these pieces from moving because as it stands, it's a little bit awkward and I'm not entirely sure exactly what position to put them at. And even the slightest touch, you know, completely ruin that display. So so I definitely think Lego missed a little bit of something there. And before I get roasted in the comments, yes, I just realized this piece is not attached properly and so is this one. Wow, those pieces really aren't attached properly. But moving on to the back of the vehicle here, I mean, this thing has a pretty striking pose from the back and usually the back side of a vehicle is one of the least attractive areas on a vehicle, but I think Lego did a great job with this here. I love these wheel pieces being used from the castle sets, those are fantastic. These these giant yellow engines really stand out and even some of the details back here look great. They're simple but very effective techniques that work so, so well. It's a tad difficult to see because of the fins back here, but there are some small greeple details on both sides of this ship which make for some very nice designs. And all around this vehicle is not perfectly symmetrical, just small little things like, you know, gray pieces right here as opposed to white pieces over here but gray right here. I mean, they change up a little bit of things throughout the build of this set, which just adds to the detail and flair of this ship. And of course, one of the main things people are gonna be interested in with this ship is the cockpit piece. I believe this is a new piece made for this set, but it's also a piece I can definitely see being used on other sets in the future. It's a very nice cockpit piece. However, there's one big flaw with this cockpit piece. You see that? Other side as well. And that, yep, those details are stickers. They are not printed, those are stickers. And getting them aligned is pretty much impossible. I mean, you can see a small little gap between mine right there. That's the best I could do. I didn't wanna mess up my stickers or hurt them in any way. So applying these stickers is so, so, so annoying and I don't understand why this piece simply could not have just been printed. It's ridiculous to me that there are stickers on the cockpit of a $200 Lego set. In addition, for accuracy's sake, I do think the cockpit debatably is positioned maybe a stud or two too far forward. I think it looks fine, doesn't really hurt the look of the vehicle to me, but it is something I think needed to be pointed out. Besides that though, the design behind the cockpit has some great building techniques and of course you can remove this cockpit. There's no fancy mechanism to lift it off or anything, you just have to take it off simply and that reveals the interior here. Now, I will say I think the interior isn't super exciting, there's not a whole lot going on inside here, but for what it is, I think it's pretty nice. This seat design here can move a little bit, they use the gold bar piece in tan for some added cushion details and then you have a small little throttle and a control panel piece right there. It looks pretty good, it's nothing spectacular but I think it gets the job done. Wrapping things up with my review here for the UCS A-Wing, I'm gonna get really odd with how I describe my final thoughts on this set. It's time for an analogy. Now let's just imagine that you've written a paper for class in high school or college or something, and the paper you've written is really, really good. All the ideas are great. Your thesis statement is incredibly strong. The paper is structured really, really well. It just flows perfectly. The sentence are really good, your word choice is fantastic. Pretty much everything about your paper seems really, really good, pardon my pun, 
on paper. However, when you start to read the paper and look closer, there's a fair number of little mistakes here and there. Some grammar errors are made. You miss some punctuation. You put a comma in the wrong place. You have some run-on sentences. You misspelled a few words. And while the paper is still really, really good, you can't ignore all those little mistakes. So some points have to be taken off your final grade. That's how I feel about this Ultimate Collector Series A-Wing set here. On paper, at first glance, I think this thing is beautiful. It's a great display piece, an incredibly clean design, and I'm really excited and happy to finally have this particular ship as a UCS version to add to my ever-growing LEGO Star Wars collection. However, there are flaws with this set, and there's actually quite a few of them that I really can't excuse. I won't go over all of them right here, because I mentioned them throughout this review, but there are quite a few, and after time, they definitely add up and can't be ignored. And finally, the one final flaw I have to mention here, of course, I mean, it's a LEGO Star Wars set, it's the price. 1,673 pieces for $200 is not a great price per piece to begin with, and then you just look at the size of this vehicle. It's big, it's a big vehicle, but it's not $200 big. It's not a gigantic vehicle, and I just don't see $200 worth of plastic here, especially considering so many stickers are in this set and so they can give us the more premium printed pieces. So, bringing all those things together, I kind of seem negative in this review. I love this set. I think this set looks great on display and I'm really happy with this set. And all of those flaws, none of them I would say are humongous. They are kind of nitpicky, but there are so many of them that they can't be ignored. So bringing all of this together, my final rating for this set here is going to be an 8 out of 10. Those are just my thoughts though. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also guys, while you're at it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. I post daily over there. Follow me on Twitter. Like my Facebook page. Maybe consider supporting my channel on Patreon. Every small donation will help to make you know more cool videos like this and help fund my Lego collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.